Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo. FIFA 15 squad builder on the screen before you is a Serbian side. Uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty cheap as well, apart from the informs, and it got me some solid, solid wins. So then, get straight into it. We have Gaberkic in the goal. One of the best non rare goalkeepers I have used in the game. Um, he's absolutely huge, he makes some amazing saves, he's good at coming out at corners. Uh, absolutely solid. Can't say anything but positives around him. Ivanovic, if he had more pace or was a centre half, he'd be beast. But at right back, he doesn't really get it done. Too many sweaty players out there. Subotic is solid as a rock. He's really cheap and one of the better centre halves in Germany. Uh, go try him out, guys. Definitely worth a use. Vidic, the informed version, wins everything. Headed, tackles, does everything well. Lack of pace, gets burned by sweaty players. End of. Kolarov, a decent enough left back again. If he played at centre half or had a bit more pace, he'd be a lot better. But the Serbian fullbacks don't come with much pace. Matic, one of the best central defensive midfielders I've used on the game, probably the best one in the Premier League. An absolute beast, doing everything well. Uh, Duracic, um, wasn't that good. Um, I was surprised really. He's probably better at Cam than he is central midfielder, uh, but didn't really do much for me. I didn't really, wasn't that impressed. Hopefully, he's uh, better next year. Tadic. I've used him before, I'll say it again, his passing is amazing, he's uh, he's not very quick but he doesn't really need to be, and he's got an amazing shot on him as well despite his stats saying otherwise. Uh, we have Tosic, this guy is sweat heaven, an absolute pace whore, burns people off for fun, his finishes and is amazing as well, he's got good crossing too, good passing, a great player. Mitrovic, uh, I used him instead of the Lazio striker, or the gold Lazio striker, purely because he's got a bit more pace, but to be honest, he's, he's poor. He needs an increase in a lot of areas. He's got a good shot on him, but that's about it. And we got Lijic. Lijic is an absolute super, super player. Scored some amazing goals on us, some good assists as well. The wide forwards for Serbia are absolutely amazing. And there we have there, the keeper, look at that Berkic, not just pushing it away, but pushing it well away. No chance of that slipping past him. And there we are again. Through on goal, but look at that for a save. And will he get back up? Oh, yes, he will. He's an amazing keeper, guys. Try him out. Try him out. And we've got Matic using his strength there, bullying that player off the ball and slotting it past the keeper with absolute ease. Tadic here cutting inside, and look at that for a finish right into the bottom corner. And then we have a lovely cross. And look at that, it's Tosic, the uh, right winger, getting on the end of it. And there again, the left winger slotting it past the keeper. The wide forwards did most of the damage here. I'll, I'll be honest, they were they were really, really good. If you had a better strike of Serbia, this would be an amazing side. Some great finishes from the players here. Here we have Mitrovic. Like I said, he had a good finish when he got into around there. Look at that, blast it past the forwards. But the problem is, he was pretty weak for his sort of build. And uh, to be honest, he couldn't win anything in the end. He wasn't very strong. But his shooting was pretty solid. Here we have got this, the final goal. Look at that, right into the corner. It's a really good side, guys. Not many people will be using it. If you want to try something different, go and try it out. I've been Dango. Catch you all later, guys.